people ask me that why do you or why did you forgive someone who has killed your loved wife, beloved wife? The answer to this is I can give so many answers, but because of the time, I'll give only a couple of points. The first point is I have a faith, I believe in Allah, and Allah says that if we forgive one another, then He loves me, He loves us. In Holy Quran, Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wal Kazimin Al Ghayz, Wal Afin Anin Nas, Wal Kazimin Al Ghayz, Wal Afin Anin Nas, Wallahu Yuhib. Those who control their anger and pardon their fellow human, Allah loves those who are good doers. So I forgive and Muslim forgive because they are taught by Allah, they are taught by Quran that if they forgive, then Allah will love them. I'll give one more reason. I follow a prophet, a messenger of God, like all other messengers of God, all other messengers of Allah, that he is titled Rahmatul Lil Alameen, mercy for the worlds. Allah says about him, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Oh my messenger, I have sent you as a mercy for the world. Without forgiveness, without showing mercy, I cannot be a true follower of him. Also, I don't want to have a heart that is boiling like a volcano. A volcano has anger, fury, rage. It doesn't have peace. It has hatred. It burns itself within and also it burns the surrounding. I don't want to have a heart like this and I believe no one does. I want a heart that will be full of love and care and full of mercy and will forgive lavishly because this heart doesn't want any more lives to any more lives to be lost. This heart doesn't like that the pain I have gone through that any human being should go should go through that kind of pain. That's why I have chosen peace. I have chosen love and I have forgiven. Also people ask me that how come you are still saying that you love him as a human brother? The answer to this is our brother Imam has recited the verse from the Holy Quran. It says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayyuhan nas O mankind Inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa unthab We have created you from a single pair of male and female referring to our original path father Adam and mother Eve so we all are Adam's children, Eve's children. We are one single family. We are human brothers and sisters. How can I hate my human brother? 
I don't agree with what he has done. I don't support what he has done. Probably he has misunderstood the whole thing. Probably he had gone through some suffering in his life. Some traumatic thing happened to him and he could not process well his suffering into the constructive way. That's why I don't support his wrong action. But at the same time, I cannot deny the fact that he is my human brother. Each human being is my brother, is my sister. This is my faith and this is what Allah has taught me. That's why I do not hate him and I cannot hate him. I cannot hate anyone. At the end, at the end, again, I would like to say a couple of words for the humanity. We all want peace. We say that we want peace. But we got to start from somewhere. We have to start cleaning our own heart first. We have to change our attitude. If our heart is full of love, then peace will start from here. And each one of us, us has responsibility. From wherever we are, we have responsibility at least to start from our heart. And the second thing is we have to change our attitude. Our attitude should be we human beings are one family. Regardless of faith, religion, culture and language, I would like to conclude with my beautiful city where I am. This is Krashtar city called Garden City. And in the garden, we see beautiful flowers and we have to learn from it. In the garden, we see different, different types of flowers. They are different, but together they make a garden. They make a beautiful garden. They stay one beside another with peaceful coexistence. Even though they have, they have difference, we human being has to be like this. I may be from one culture, you may come from another culture, I may have one faith, you may have one faith, but together we are a beautiful garden. May Allah guide us towards the peace, may Allah guide New Zealand safety and security and may Allah make New Zealand peaceful and may Allah make the whole world peaceful. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Farid